Hey everybody, uh, this is Stacy with love.bug.blogspot.com. Today I want to share with you a really cute idea that costs uh, very little to make depending on where you get your supplies. But what it is, it's this little dog. Can you see him? Um, he's a golf ball dog. He's made from golf balls and a golf tee. Okay? Um, and you know, you, we have little googly eyes, a pom pom, the nose, and you can be decorative. You can put a chain on him. Okay, this one I did add like a little collar type chain. Um, and this one's all br um, black. So to make the dog, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need at least eight golf balls, okay? And don't go in your hubby's bag and get the good ones. Trust me, I know from experience. And you're going to want to paint them whatever color your dog is going to be, okay? In this case, I'm going to use brown. You're also going to need a tee. Now, uh, to paint your um, the golf balls, what I did, I stuck a bunch of tees in styrofoam and then put my golf ball on top of that and painted it that way. It, it worked out much easier that way. You're also going to need felt for the ears, and I, you know, just choose one that matches your dog color. Okay. Um, you're going to need a small pom pom, and I got my, I got this from a pack at Walmart. Rainbow pom poms. Looks like this. You get a hundred pom poms in there, and this was uh, two ninety seven. And you're going to need googly eyes. Okay, and that's how big they are. They're the little ones. All right, and of course hot glue, because the whole entire thing goes together with hot glue. Now to cut your ears, to make it easy, I just take a piece of felt, fold it in half, and then you're going to cut an ear shape out of the felt. Okay, and it doesn't need to be perfect, and I'm not even measuring um, length here. Let me just see if I can zoom you guys in so you can kind of see better. Okay, so I'm just cutting like a little teardrop shape, and then you can see this is my folded end. Right there, I am going to taper it in a little bit because that's the part we're actually going to glue to the dog. Okay, and then we're going to just cut that in half. All right, so now I have two pieces that look like that for my um, the uh, ears. And then for the tongue, really easy. It's just a piece of scrap felt. And again, this is like really small piece here. Okay, you can see there. And I'm just going to cut it. And this is about a quarter inch thick. Okay, a quarter inch wide like that. And then I'm going to angle it off on one end to make a point. Okay, flip it over. All right, so now my felt looks like that. It looks like a little arrow. All righty. I'm going to zoom you guys back out, and we're going to start assembling this little guy. All righty. Let me move all this away. And I have a piece of, uh, this is actually a chain that my son used to wear. You know, it's like nothing fancy. It's like from the dollar store. Uh, so I'm going to use that as a collar, but of course, again, you can be as fancy as you want. All right, so I have my glue gun ready. You're going to take two golf balls, and these aren't perfectly covered. Like, there's white here, so I'm going to put that towards the bottom. Okay, and you're just going to glue the two balls together. So put glue on the one end. And you want to be generous with the glue. Okay, give me a little twirl. And we're going to glue them together like that. And let that sit to set up. And if, and if, you know, if you have a, a stronger glue that you like to use, you know, then use that. Like a, you can use the E6000 glue. Um, I just like the hot glue because it's kind of instant. Okay, so again, you're going to let that set up for a few seconds. You don't want to rush it when drying. So I'm going to set that aside. Grab two more. Now you can see these ones have like a stripe on them. I didn't paint them all the way through. So of course, they will go on the bottom. I'm now going to glue these two balls together. Put a big dollop there. And then turn the gun to avoid all strings, or as many strings as you can avoid. Okay, and then glue those two pieces together. And when you're gluing, you want to work on like a mat or a piece of paper. You know, something that is going to catch all the glue for you. All the glue strings. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this together while I remove this string down there. Alright, so now we have two of, we have two balls glued together and two sets of two. Okay, so we have them two there. Now we're going to glue these two together. Okay, so this is just going to go together just like that. We're going to glue these two pieces. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so again I'm going to put a dollop of glue there, twirl it, a dollop there, twirl it, and then glue these together. Okay, and you want to make sure you're kind of even, you know, you want to make sure you're even. Okay, and then again we're just going to apply pressure to secure them, and I got glue dripping, and that's fine. Now, one thing I would recommend before you actually apply the um, 
the pom-pom for his nose and the ear as far as decorating. You may want to, after your dog is fully assembled here, okay, let me get rid of my glue, because that will bother me to pieces. All right, um, what I would do, I would assemble it the way we're assembling it here, okay? And then when you're done that, when it's all assembled, at that point I would go to take it back outside and repaint it, okay? That way it's gonna cover up all the glue spots. Now we have these four golf balls glued together. I'm now gonna take two more and glue these together. And again, I'm looking for the spots that aren't the best paint job there. A dollop of glue, twirl the gun around to avoid a little bit of the string. It won't avoid all of them, but okay, then hold them together like that. I mean, it's a really fun project. Uh, the only problem that you might run into is getting golf balls. You know, I told my husband I wanted to do this and he, you know, he got a little mad because I was getting out the good golf ball. So, you know, if you have a golf course that near, that's near you, maybe you can ask them if they can donate eight golf balls for you. And, um, or you can buy them and, and then, you, of course, you would need the tees. Okay, so now these two are together and this is together. We have a set of four and a set of two. We're now going to take this set of two and glue it on top of our four. Okay, so we're gonna take this set, and again, you're gonna put glue on the two bottom parts here. Twirl the gun around. Twirl the gun around, and then lay that on top. And of course, I dip my finger right in that glue. That's what happens when you're two, when you try to do something on a video, right? You always make mistakes when you're live. Okay, so we're gonna hold that together. All right, now we have like a little pyramid of golf balls, okay? Now we're going to take our other two. We're going to set that one aside, take the other two ones that you have, and this one's going to be the face. So you want to try to find the best part here. Let me look. I think right here is my good side, okay? We're going to then glue these two together. I'm going to actually put a little bit more glue there because this, like I said, is for his face or her face. You know what, actually I messed up. Isn't that funny? You only need two, four, five, six. You only need seven golf balls. You don't need this extra golf ball. So let me remove this golf ball. So rewind, you only need seven, okay? So you have your four on the bottom and your two on the top, okay? Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys. Take this one and it's gonna get glued to the top like that on an angle, okay? So. Sorry for the mess up there. I got a little carried away. Okay, and you're going to take this one. Hopefully you can see this. And I'm going to put it on an angle. And that's going to form his head. Okay? And again, you want to try to make that straight so it all lines up. And you want to hold that there for a few seconds because you're gluing a golf ball on the angle. All right? And it takes a few, you know, just a few seconds to set up with the hot glue. Okay? So now we have our dog, Base. Okay, and like I said, you can use a stronger glue. You know, mine are only display. You know, I'm not shipping them out or anything, so the hot glue is fine. Okay, then you can take your chain, okay, to hide your glue there. Now, before I, before I do this, I would actually take this whole piece outside, because your dog is finished at this point, and repaint the whole thing brown again, or whatever color your dog is, okay? Now, my chain is a tad bit too long. Let me see if I can cut this. I mean, you can avoid the chain ooh, if you want to, okay? But I kind of like it because it kind of hides any hot glue that you have. I'm going to put a little bit of glue there, okay? And then hurry up and hurry up and grab that collar on there. And be careful because you're going to be sticking your fingers in that glue. I kind of use my fingernail. Okay, and that's set up. So there we have the little collar on the dog and I got a big old drop of glue. All right, so there's that part. So our dog base is done at this point, okay? Now we're gonna do his ears. Now that point, that part that we angled towards the front, we're gonna bend that over just a little bit to kind of create a bend for the ear. Okay, and then you're gonna put glue just on that, bended, on that bent piece, okay? And hopefully I don't burn my finger here. Okay, take that, lift your doggy up, position the ear where you want it to go. Okay, 
So this is definitely not a project for the little ones because like I said, it does involve the hot glue, okay? Take the other ear, and again, I'm gonna bend it over just a little bit. Okay, hold that down with my fingernail. Put a little bit of glue there. Twirl a little bit, and then anchor my dog so I can kind of see where his ear is gonna go. Just like that. Okay, can you all see? And again, you wanna kind of have that bend there. So you wanna force that bend. Okay, and then when it's glued down, then you can play around with the ears, okay? Now we're gonna do the eyes, and I'm using, um, you know, the tiny itty bitty googly eyes, and this is gonna be really hard. Let me see if my tweezers are over here. Okay, so I got my tweezers. Hopefully I can do this with my tweezers. I probably can't. Okay, we're gonna try to do this. So just to put a little bit of glue on the eye, you don't want it to uh, gob out on you. Okay, so a little bit there. Hold your eye and then grab your dog and put his eye down. Okay, and the strings, we're, gonna, we're not gonna worry about yet. We can get all the strings off when the dog is all done. Okay, so there's one eye. I'm gonna grab this one. And again, just a little bit of glue. I mean, these are really cute. My mom and me made these years ago, um, and we did a bunch of uh, craft fairs with these, and they sold like hotcakes. Let me tell you, they were so popular. Okay, so we have his little googly eyes on. Okay, he's looking like a doggy already. Now he needs his nose and the tongue. Okay, now this is how I do it. Let me get that glue off my finger. I'm actually going to put glue on the tongue itself. And you only want a little bit of the tongue um, showing. I'm just using a larger piece here because my pom-pom is going to sit on top of that. Okay. Just like that. So we have our pom-pom glued down. Let me get rid of that fray piece right there. Okay. So once your pom-pom is secure, then you're going to take the whole thing with the tongue attached or the tongue attached and glue that to your doggy. All right. So once again, put some glue there. And again, you don't want to be overly generous because you don't want the glue, you know, spilling out on the sides. So I'm going to take the doggy's face and put that there. And look what I did is tongue crooked and I kind of like it being crooked. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so just press that down until, you know, until you know it stays on there. Okay, and that's how his face looks. Isn't he super cute? How easy. Okay, so there's my little brown dog with the brown ears and the black dog. Okay, now lastly we have his tail. And the tail, of course, is made from a golf tee. We just painted the same color as our dog. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of glue right there, that little cup in the end. And again, you don't want to go over overboard with the glue. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna stick his little tail on. Super cute. Okay, now again, what I would do, um, I just did this for the video. What I would do, I would glue all your pieces together first, okay, including the T here before you paint your dog, okay? I would glue the four bottom golf balls together right there, the four bottom, the two on top, his head, and the T, and then take it outside and paint it all whatever color you want that way you know it's going to cover all that glue okay because you can see the glue there so i will take this back outside and hopefully i can be i'll be able to paint it okay and then when it's all glued and painted then i would go in there and decorate them okay but he is super super cute okay so here's the little brown one and the little black one okay can you see him and of course, you know, you can come back in here and add a charm on the brown one because he does look kind of plain there without a little um, necklace or collar. Uh, but there's the black one and there's the brown one. Any questions at all, guys, uh, let me know. As I said, all you need to make it is four, five, six, seven golf clubs or seven golf balls, a golf tee, and then miscellaneous materials you would have, like the felt for the ears, the pom-pom, the googly eyes, the tongue, and then something to decorate the chain with, okay? Um, any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.